So with your pen in hand, I want you to have a look at this. From just the information that's on the table, what would you guess this table is asking you to do? What's going on? Yes, Fama. Multiply. Yeah, very good. And we've got the multiplying cue up here. And there's one other thing, had I not given you a heading that would tell you that. Can you have a look at the table? Yeah. Time okay, fantastic. So you can see right up there in the top left hand corner. So really what this is, is times tables. Okay, times tables. Now what I'd like you to do with me for this first side, let's be nice and simple and have a look and say, what does this, um, this top rectangle in here, what's it going to have in it? Now don't just tell me the answer. Tell me how I get the answer. Can someone tell me what to write? Yeah, Ranesh. Three times zero. Okay, I'm gonna go three times zero. You can all do this with me. Three times zero. And three lots of, three groups of zero, of course is? Zero. Zero, zero. zero. fantastic. Okay. In fact, once we filled that in, we know from one of our early, early number facts that anything times zero is gonna be zero, right? So everything in this column here, I'm gonna have two times zero, also zero, yeah. One times zero, still zero. And you better believe that zero times zero, oops, is zero, at least I hope so, okay? You've got no lots of nothing, so you have a whole lot of nothing, okay? So you can see here, if I were now to go over to the right here, I can continue this pattern. The pattern's what I'm after, okay? Three times one is? Three. Uh, three times two is? Three. Sorry, one times two. Sorry. Uh, one times two is two. Uh, one times one. One. And the last one. Zero. One times zero is still zero. Okay. Dasa, did you have a question, man? Ah, so you're asking about my order, are you? Yes, I have a very, very important reason for why my numbers are in the order that they are. Suffice to say, I can multiply any numbers I like. Like, I could have made this 304 if I wanted to and just worked out my 304 times tables if I really wanted to. I don't today. Uh, but you'll see why when we have a look at the other side, why the numbers are in that order. Okay, we've done half the table. Can you go ahead and fill out the rest of the table? It won't take you long. We're only going up to three. Go ahead and put those numbers in, okay? They're simple, simple products. All right, things are looking fantastic. Okay, now what I'd like you to notice before we move on and turn over, okay, is just have a look at how many patterns there are in this table, okay? For instance, if we just have a look at, say, uh, this diagonal up here, can you see this diagonal? That set of numbers in that diagonal, they're special numbers. What are those numbers are about? Yeah, square numbers. They're square numbers, aren't they? Zero times zero, zero. One times one, one. Two times two, three times three. And I could keep going if I had more salt, right? There are lots of other patterns there. You can see symmetry. You can see numbers climbing up, numbers climbing down. Okay? Right, now pause for a second. So far, what we've done here is what you know since, like, well, when did you first learn multiplication? When did you first learn your times it? Year one, year two, I'd say. So you've known this for a long time, okay? But what we've just been looking at, which is new, is integers. And what do integers add to this? What do integers add? Not just these positive numbers. What other numbers am I going to add into here? Yeah. I'm going to have negatives too, okay? Turn over, please. Turn over. Okay, now, we're not going to do all of the working for this one because I think you'll be able to notice a lot of these are fairly straightforward now that you've got the idea in your head. In fact, a whole quarter of this table you have already done. Which quarter have you already done? Well, carefully. Yes, Maria. Okay, we've done the end, haven't we? The top right, you can see these are the 0, 1, 2, 3 and the 3, 2, 1, 0 we had before. So would you start with me just by copying in the numbers you already know just with the zeros and the positives. You don't need to do the whole working, the 3 times 3 is this. Just give me the numbers, okay? You can see I'm up to date with you guys as well. Now here's where the patterns really become interesting, okay? I want you to have a look at See how I've got four columns that I've filled in? One, two, three, four. I want you to look at the second column, the one second from the left. Can you see down here, as I climb down from the top to the bottom, as I go in descending order, you can see there's a very obvious pattern, right? How do I get from one number climbing down to the next? What am I doing? What's the difference? Yeah, I found one. I'm, I'm subtracting one every time. Do you see that? So in fact, if you could write with me, I'm subtracting one, to go from three to two. I'm subtracting one again to go from two to one, and so on, okay? 
Now, being that that pattern continues, you can kind of predict what's going to happen to the bottom of the table, right? If I'm subtracting one every time, right? Then I should keep subtracting one. There's no reason why the pattern should change, right? So what's the next number underneath that zero? Yes, it's negative one, right? Zero take away one, zero minus one is negative one. When I subtract one again, I'm gonna get negative two. negative two, and then I'm gonna get negative three. Great, so you can see the pattern, right? Again, you don't necessarily have to um, write this on yours because it's going to get pretty crowded. If I have a look at this pattern here in the next column over, you can tell me, what am I doing to climb down the ladder? Yeah, I'm taking away two, right? Every single time. So we can continue this pattern down here where I don't know the numbers. I'm going to keep on subtracting two, subtracting two. And then you don't need me to tell you what's going to happen on this last column. What's going to happen here? I'm going to subtract three. Okay, let's fill out this bottom right hand corner. Now, before we move on, just have a look at what we've established, right? We started with this. We started with, on your reverse side, just looking at the positives and including the zeros, okay? And we know exactly how these behave. But when we have a look at negatives, if you have a positive number, like say, two, and you multiply it by a negative, like say negative two, right? Two times negative two is gonna give you another negative number back. And I could do this for all of these. They're all giving me negative numbers, okay? All these products in this corner. Where else can I see a pattern? A pattern I could continue. There's loads of them. Do you want to suggest? You can see one. Yeah, it does. Yeah, you're talking about these ones in here? Yeah. yeah, very good. So you can see I've got loads of spots where there's zero times something. Zero times something. And we know all of those. Let's fill them in now. All of those are going to be... Zero, okay? <laughs> now, I'm going to show you one more pattern and then we're going to fill out the rest of the table. You notice here I was climbing down a ladder, right? I was going from the top to the bottom. I've got the whole left-hand side of the table that I haven't filled in. So I kind of want to see what happens when I go from right to left. Does that make sense? Let's just do the first row. When I go from right to left, I'll choose another color. Let's go with pink. From right to left, right to left, right to left. What is happening each time? What operation am I doing? Yeah, yeah it's, it's getting smaller and smaller by three every time. Can you notice that? So let's write in there. It's take away three, then take away three again, and take away three one more time. So being that that's the pattern, all the way from the right-hand corner up into the middle, there's no reason to think that the pattern won't continue, right? So let's pop those arrows over here. And I'm going to be taking away three in this top row, taking away three every single time. Now we just, like we saw in the review questions, we're really good at doing all of these operations when it's just adding and subtracting. So what am I going to have? What numbers will I have in my top row? Yeah, go ahead. Ne sorry, from here? So, yeah, negative nine then. Yep. Very good, and you can see it fits that pink pattern that we just put in there, okay? So again, just like top to bottom, we're getting smaller and smaller. Right to left, we're also doing that. And you can fill in the rest of the table. Just watch out when you get in the bottom left corner. Give it a shot, and then I'll come around and have a look at what you're doing.